Hello dear students, in our series of videos on probability, today we are going to learn how we can write sample space of various experiments. We have already done in part 1 of this video that probability of an event is calculated by using the simple formula number of favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes. But how do we get this total number of outcomes? For that, we need to understand how to write the sample space of various experiments related to probability. Now, say we have tossing of one coin. Now, obviously, when we toss one coin, we have only two outcomes, possible outcomes, that is head or tail. So, number of possible outcomes is two. Now, when we understand that tossing one coin will give us only two results, then we can find out how many results will be obtained by tossing two coins together or three coins or four coins or even five coins. So here the number of coins are two, the number of outcomes related to one coin is two. So how many outcomes are there? Two. Just write this two and how many coins? 2. So that will come in the power of this. So number of events that is possible outcomes will be 4. What are those 4 outcomes? Head comma tail, tail comma head, head comma head and tail comma tail. These are the 4 possible outcomes. Both heads, both tails, one head, tail and then tail or head. Now you can generalize this now. In one coin we got 2. How many coins? 3 coins. So 2 raised power 3. Now 8 outcomes, 8 possible outcomes. If you enlist that H, 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 this is the first. I will write all. These are the 8 possible outcomes related to the experiment of tossing 3 coins together. Generalize this further. Say you have 2 raised to power 4 coins. So now I have 16 possible outcomes when I throw 4 coins together. Now you can do that very easily when you try and do the, uh, try to do this very easily you will start with all four heads and then three heads three heads means one tail so t h h h h t h h h h t h and triple h t so this is three heads now come to two heads now if you talk of two heads you have two heads on first and second place first and third place first and fourth place second and third place second and fourth place and third and fourth place these are two heads now single edge first place second place third place fourth place and finally we have no heads that is all four tails so if you count this will become 16 possible outcomes related to experiment of tossing four coins very easy simple understanding you can enlist all the possible outcomes now come to dice when you throw a dice obviously you have six possible outcomes that is numbers from 1 to 6 so total number of outcomes is 6 now number of dice now two dice are there so in one dice I had six possible outcomes the number of dice will come in power so this will be now 36 cases now you can enlist those 36 cases it is a bit tedious start from 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 then move on up to 1 comma 6 
then in the second row you can start from 2 2 comma 1 to 2 comma 6 similarly carry on up to 6 comma 1 and move on up to 6 comma 6 so this will give you 36 possible outcomes related to tossing of or throwing of two dice together now if you generalize this three dice in one dice you have six cases raised to the power of number of dice so you have 216 cases here which is difficult to enlist but the questions may come on this also because number of favorable outcomes may be easier to find then a coin and a dice together one coin and one dice so if you have one coin one coin means two results and one dice means six results multiply them you will have 12 results in all what are those 12 results say combine head with one head with two head with three with four with five and with six move on with tail tail one two three four five and six so these are the 12 possible outcomes when a coin and a dice are thrown together Similarly, pack of cards, you, you all know that pack of cards questions are very important for probability and you have 52 cards in total. So you have 52 total possible outcomes in the sample space of pack of cards and these are categorized into 26 red and 26 black. One further categorization is basically 12 face cards and remaining 42 40 52 minus 12 that is for 40 non face cards so this is two types of classification of cards which we can discuss later in our subsequent videos so in this video we have understood what a sample space is and how we can find the total number of possible outcomes related to an experiment. So keep viewing the series of videos on the probability for further understanding of this important topic. Share and subscribe the channel if you like it.